Today we're talking about something that's very important for every dental practice, disinfecting. With so many products out on the market, choosing the right one can make a big difference with efficacy and efficiency. Today, Dr. Yatao Liu is here to answer some of the most commonly asked questions. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's first talk about all the different products on the market. When you first sure. look at them, they all look very similar, right? Plastic mm -hmm. containers, but you're here to explain that not all wipes are created equal. That's correct. So when you're looking for disinfecting wipes, there's some key attributes you're looking for, including efficacy, material compatibility, contact time, and safety. Cool, can you elaborate a little bit on each one of those? Sure, in terms of the efficacy, for example, cavity wipes, as the number one leading product for dental infection prevention, it has mycobacteria, which is TB, bactericidal, virucidal, and fungicidal clamps. And especially I want to point out the two, fungicidal is very important because fungi can cause serious infections in dental settings and also mycobacteria, TB. Got it. And the wipes itself are different when we open them up and check them out. So sure. Let's see. So here's cavity wipes, mm -hmm. as you can see here. And the cavity wipes has been used for many years and uh, people love cavity wipes. One of the important reasons is uh, so premium substrate. As you can see here, the substrate is very sturdy and also can pick up the, you know, the dirt from the surface really well. And also, let me tear it for you. Very clean. So now let's take a look at the competitor wipes. Okay, let's look at this wipe. Let me try to tear this one. As you can hold this wipe, take a close look at it. There's lots of fiber hanging around. The fibers will compromise the clean efficacy and may cause some implication for your procedures. And when you say implications for your procedure, do you mean that some of these fibers could actually get in the way and maybe into the patient's mouth? That's right. As you can see, the fiber is actually easy to wow. fly in the air. And you don't want that? You absolutely don't want that. Okay. So let's talk about the alcohol content mm -hmm. in cavity wipes. Cavity wipes has a low alcohol, so being low alcohol, it's not a flammable. And in addition, being low alcohol has another benefit, which is great cleaning capability, especially for blood cleaning, compared with high alcohol disinfectant. Cool, let's demonstrate that. We've got some trays here. So we'll start with the cavity wipes. Blood is very common in dental settings. Let's see this. Even in this very extreme demonstration, as you can see, heavy wipes effectively pick up the blood contamination. Great. Now should we do one with the competitor wipes? Sure. Okay. Oh, it just seems to be smearing it around, not really picking it up. And also, as you notice here, as a wipe, some blood actually got fixed on the surface. Because this is high alcohol, high alcohol is well known to fix proteins instead of cleaning. That's why, as you can see, it just pushes the blood around. Okay, Dr. Yutao, now let's talk sure. about the flammability of both cavi wipes and competitor wipes. Cavi wipes. Does not catch on fire. Nope. That's due to low the alcohol. low alcohol content. Excellent. And special substrate. Okay, and now the competitor. Instantly catches on fire. High alcohol. Wow. It's clear that you definitely want something that's not flammable inside your operatory. Okay, so Dr. Yatao, one common question I hear a lot is from dental hygienists who might be saying, you know, why don't I just save time and money? I'll get my own little cotton gauze and just dip in some bleach and make my own wipes and call it good. What's your response to that? So first, not necessary you save money by doing that one. You have to take into account people's time during the mix preparation and not to mention you have to buy things separately. You have to buy the solution, you have to buy the dry wipes, all the cost separately, right? So the cost may not be most effective by doing that way. And another important reason is the compliance. When you mix the solutions, what is the efficacy and what is the stability that's unknown. 
that's potentially going to compromise the disinfection efficacy. So saving a few pennies here and there is not worth the risk of potentially compromising the safety of your operatory. That's right. Okay. Speaking of that, let's talk about something that we normally can't see with the human eye, and that's bacteria. We have these little friends to help us out to demonstrate. We've got TB here, we've got staph, and we also have this little guy. Okay. Fungi. So, cavity wipes actually takes care of all of these things. Right, so cavity wipes is well designed with a clinical pathogen clamps. As we talked briefly, it's broad spectrum, mycobacteria, bactericidal, virucidal, and fungicidal. So, it takes care of most common clinically encountered pathogens. For example, TB. Bye bye. Staphylococcus. And fungi. Great! We're left with the clean operatory. Or do you have any tips or advice in terms of prolonging the equipment inside a dental practice? Sure, the equipment is the most valuable investment in your operatory. And to prolong that one, the material compatibility is the biggest part. You want to use a cleaning a disinfectant product which has been tested for material compatibility to prolong the longevity of your investment. Mm -hmm. Cavity wipes has been widely tested by the most common dental equipment including treatments, instruments, and imaging, and recommended in the most I've used so far. And the other option is maybe add a barrier. That's right. So you mentioned another one is you also can consider use of physical barrier. The physical barrier will prevent the blood uh, splash and the saliva. But I want to remind you, by using the barrier, does not replace the disinfection and clean. Got it. And lastly, let's talk about some research that has gone on with cavity wipes. Right, so a recent study published on the dental advisor talking about the cleaning and the disinfection efficacy at a different alcohol concentration by different disinfectant wipes. And uh, it mentions cavity wipes. As you can see, cavity wipes provide the best cleaning and the disinfection at the presence of blood contamination. Great. Any last bit of advice for shortcuts or things that we can save time when disinfecting in an operatory? The best way to get the best performance always choose the right products and follow the instruction, get the best practice. <laughs>